Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ash and Leather. I made a special trip into the shop today. I was expecting to edit most of the video that I shot yesterday with Wyatt from Grant Stone. And by the way, I can't wait for you guys to watch that video. We just had such an incredible, over an hour long discussion about shoemaking and the products that they offer and different types of leathers that they use. And what I was most impressed about yesterday with Wyatt is that he puts so much thought into what they're doing and I was just so impressed with that. I was working on that video at home today. I was planning on staying in and working on that all day, but I got a call from the shop here because they have so many great different custom shell cordovan wallets and I just went through all these. I can't wait for you guys to take a look at these. There's so many very special and unique things here. This might be the most epic day of shell cordovan wallets that we've ever had. So let's start this off right with a black marbled shell cordovan Tony the Ant. And the marbling on the back of this is just absolutely spectacular. We have that nice range from the orange right to a green and all the color range in between. And on the inside of this Tony the Ant, there's a black reverse interior. And this black reverse is very, very nice. Everything is matched so nicely on the inside of this one. The colors are all very consistent. I like this one and I also like when they're a little bit more randomized as well, but this is just a beautiful Tony the Ant. Up next, this is something special. This is a Frank the Enforcer in marbled ultraviolet. I do not think that I have ever seen one of these before, and this is a stunner. It sort of has a great range from that ultraviolet shade. It gets a little bit more pink and then ranges back down to a tan shade. So this is a really unique and special Frank the Enforcer. Now here's another little surprise shocker. This is a Fat Herbie, and on the outside, with this very remarkable piece of black shell cordovan. Everything in the batch today is blowing me away, but this black piece on the back, on the outside of this Fat Herbie is super shiny, super rich and full, and, and it has just a great feel. You can hear it a little bit here too. And on the inside of this one, we've got something extra special. On the card holders of this Fat Herbie, those sort of caramel colors on the left and right, this is a 1940s calf skin from Horween. This is the recipe that is a veg tan calf um, formulation that they have not been able to reproduce. So this leather has been sitting in the tannery since 1940. And we had a customer put in a special order for this really incredible fat Herbie. And I can't wait for you to have this one. And let's keep it rolling here with something also quite unique. This is a Tony the Ant. And on the outside here, this is just a great combination Everything on this wall is special. There's a really beautiful piece of marbled color eight for the bill slot there. And this has a great range from brown to the burgundy shade. And what's super cool about the exterior of this one is the middle piece here. This is also the reverse side of a marbled color eight, which we don't often see. So it has a really interesting range of color, even on the reverse side of that shell. Now let's take a look at the inside. The inside is sort of the backwards inverse of what's happening on the outside. We have a marbled color eight shell piece in the center with reverse card holders. And this is also a stunner. I'm telling you, everything in this batch today is so epic. This is probably the most epic Ashland day. So up next, another marbled piece. This is a beautiful color eight marbled shell cordovan, Tony the Ant. This one is much lighter than I often see on the marbled shells, especially in the color eight marbled. We're getting a lot more of those purpley sort of burgundy tones on top of uh, a good amount of the natural sort of orange color from underneath the leather. And on the inside of this one, again, just incredible marbled pattern pieces for the card holders. We got that great Horian ink stamp in the middle. So here's another Tony the Ant, and this one is a subtle stunner. On the outside, we have, again, just a perfectly smooth, very shiny mirror-like piece of black shell on the back there. Just look at how great that luster is. And on the inside, I really enjoy this one. I like seeing the reverse shell cordovan pieces on top of shell cordovan. So this has a really great look with the black reverse, which is a more green shade on top of the black itself and symmetrical on the inside. I think this is also a really great and unique Tony the Ant here, you guys have really good taste. Up next, this is one of my new favorite leathers. And this is a finished variation on the Shell Cordovan that we've been calling Raw Shell Cordovan. And what the Raw Shell Cordovan has been sort of a dream of mine for about 10 years. And it's finally happened uh, as of last fall. The tannery started to make just small batches of this Raw Shell Cordovan. It's very similar to the natural shell 
But what we tend to see more on the raw shell is a little bit more natural character. And the leather itself starts off uh, quite dull. It's more of like a matte finish, so it's not as bright and shiny as any regular piece of shell. So you can see here the light does reflect off it in a more subtle way, but it is not mirror-like and polished like a normal piece of shell. So what happens is you get the most dramatic patina possible on a piece of shell, and that's why I like the raw shell. And on the inside, again, more raw shell with that great natural character. This is a really beautiful Bugs Moran. Well, I told you that this was an epic day, and I still have maybe 20 more epic pieces here. So let's keep the, let's keep the train going. This is an intense blue shell cordovan fat herbie on the outside. Look how great that shell is. This one has a really rich feel, a really great luster, really beautiful color as well. The intense blue has a really nice aqua tone underneath, which is a little with a little bit more navy shades on the surface. But wait till you see the inside of this one. This one has been paired with a natural shell cordovan interior. But what this customer chose, and you guys have, again, great taste, the stitching on the inside sort of mimics the navy and intense blue on the outside with a contrasting blue thread. So I'm really enjoying how this fat herbie has turned out. All right, we got more. You thought I was joking, but today's the most epic day. So this piece here seems to be the shop favorite of the day. I, I think all these are really remarkable. So this is another fat herbie. But on this one, we have a beautiful and rare whiskey shell cordovan on the bill slot there. Very nice sort of caramel golden brown color on top of an exceptional piece of black marble shell. And let's take a look at the inside here. On the inside, it's just more great unique stuff. We have a reverse card holder on the left. This is a black reverse, which is a little bit more of a greenish shade. And on the right, we have a really nice looking piece of black marbled shell. This one has been custom ordered, obviously, but they've also chose a nice contrasting stitch on the inside. So if it's really nice cream stitching uh, to, to sort of set off all the colors on the inside and outside of this wallet. So here's another really special Fat Herbie. And this one is special for, uh, not only because the leather is extraordinary, and we don't really have much of this anymore, but also because this is the first Fat Herbie that Amir has made for us in the shop. Amir is our newest team member here at Ashland, and this was the first Herbie that he's ever made, and I think it's turned out really well. So good job, Amir. Uh, but the, the leather on this one is a version of Chrome XL. And this version is called Cavalier Chrome XL. It's a little bit less oil content than the standard Chrome XL. And what that does for you is it gives you an opportunity to get a little bit more bright colors. So if you're out there and you're shopping for some Chrome XL and you're a leather crafter, you want something a little brighter, but you still want a nice rich feel and pull up of the Chrome XL, the Cavalier Chrome XL is a very nice choice. And this particular color, I believe this is called Lollipop Red. So here's one of my favorites from the day. And again, these are all absolutely incredible. There's so many great wallets today. But this is a Fat Herbie that I've been waiting for and I know a special customer has been waiting for this one as well. This is an incredible looking Amaretto Shell Cordovan Fat Herbie. And the Amaretto Shells, as you may have heard me say, that is my favorite Shell Cordovan color, this really nice vibrant tan it's got a little bit more orange to it uh, than most of our other colors a little bit more vibrance than most of the shells and it has a nice depth of color it sort of ranges from a brown to a, an orangey tan but on the inside the customer has chose something very wise as well so we have an amaretto shell cordovan card holder on the right and we chose the closest reverse color that we could find this is actually color eight reverse on the left we picked the most red color that we could possibly find on the reverse and the way the reason I like this on the inside is because there's no shell on the left to scratch the shell on the right so when this one wears in it should be much more easily filled in and polished uh, so this is one of my favorite fat herbies but wait there's more here's here's a Tony the ant and a really nice piece of an intense blue shell cordovan that nice dark blue color and the bill slot on this one is a little bit of a lighter more aqua blue shade on the uh, top piece here and this one is special because it's been paired with a nice contrasting cream thread. So we get this interesting blue and white on the outside as well as in the inside. Super sleek and clean on the inside of this Tony the Ant. Up next is another stunner. This one got me. 
Uh, it is another fat Herbie with a nice contrasting thread. Intense blue on the outside with that cream thread, but the inside, this is what got me. This is a very interesting decision that I happen to be surprised by because I wouldn't have guessed that a vibrant blue on the inside and a navy blue, like a darker blue on the outside would work so well, but I really like what's going on here. On the inside of this wallet, this is a special leather called Rockford from Horween. It's another um, non-chrome leather. It's a little bit similar to the Cobalt Blue Dublin, a little bit less grain character to it than the Dublin has, but it is much more vibrant of a blue you can probably see immediately on the inside of this wallet just how vibrant that blue color is. This is a, another special Fat Herbie. And this is the second raw shell cordovan piece of the day. This is a Bugs Moran, an incredible piece of raw shell cordovan. I like the natural character on this one. Much more dull to start with. When this wears in, this is going to get much darker, more golden and brown. And the layers of luster are going to start to develop on this. This is going to be a very special piece to see. Even in a couple weeks from now, on the inside, we've got a really nice reverse, or uh, we have a really nice raw interior as well, a raw shell cordovan. This is a sleek looking Bugs Moran. And I have a few more Bugs Morans for you today. This one is in color number four shell cordovan. So we've got color four on the outside, which is my second favorite shell color. For about a decade, this was my favorite shell color. And on the inside, more color number four. And the color number four is a medium brown shade with some reddish undertones to it. And here's another Bugs Moran. This one is in color eight shell cordovan, and I wanna give you a comparison of these two colors because you can see the color eight is much darker, much more of a dark brown burgundy shade, especially when you look at it uh, standing up like this where the light doesn't get to it as much. When you compare that to the color four, you can immediately see the big drastic difference in color. I think the color eight is at least twice as dark as the color four. And on the inside of this one, we also got that classic color number eight shell cordovan. This is a beautiful Bugs Moran. And I've got to learn some new adjectives because I keep saying beautiful, but everything is just so nice today. This is a black shell cordovan Bugs Moran. And this one has a great looking reverse interior. I love this choice. I think this is a great look, a great combination. So here's a Tony the Ant, again in intense blue. This particular piece of intense blue, I think I like this one a little bit, a little bit more just because I like a little bit more of a lighter blue color. It's a little less navy and a little bit more aqua of a blue shade on this particular Tony the Ant. And on the inside, we've got the same thing going on. More intense blue and it's very nice looking. And I love how the ink stamp has been cut right into the center. And there's still more. There's so much, so much stuff today. This is a great, <laughs> incredible Fat Herbie in Whiskey Shell Cordovan. Take a look at that shell. Really great character on this piece of, of Whiskey Shell Cordovan. On the inside, we have more Whiskey Shell Cordovan Whiskey inside and out, it's a very clean fat Herbie. And I have three different English tan Dublin wallets to show you. This one up here first is a Tony the Ant. And I've been a huge fan of the English tan Dublin for years, but the way that has been coming from the tannery recently is just stunning. The color, the texture, the luster of it, the feel, everything is so nice about this leather. Here's a nice Tony the Ant. And we have the big brother to the Tony the Ant. This is the fat Herbie, also in the English tan Dublin. Many of these have been sold out for a while now, so these have been pre-ordered from people that were interested in these wallets, um, even though we were sold out on the site. So if you're looking for something that is currently sold out, we will be happy to make it for you, including this English Tan Dublin Fat Herbie. And I have one more English Tan Dublin piece for you here. This is a Frank the Enforcer, again, an English Tan Dublin. It's a really great card holder. It's actually been one of our better sellers uh, recently. I think this is for more of a minimalist style, but what's great about these is in the larger slot here, you could fit cash folded in half, as well as all your essential cards. This is a great front pocket wallet. Up next, gosh, there's so much good stuff. This is an ultraviolet shell cordovan, Johnny the Fox. And check out that piece of shell. What a great purple color. This is much more vibrant of a shade when you compare it to something like the color eight. And the luster on this one is remarkable. On the inside, I like this part the best. This reverse interior is one of my favorites that I have ever seen. I love the way that this reverse interior has come out. What I like most about it is how the colors are sort of giving a little callback to the ultraviolet on the outside. I like how this purple color and the random dye stains sort of gives you a sense of the color on the outside. This is one of my favorite Johnny the Foxes of all time. And I told you this was an epic day. 
But check out this massive piece of natural shell cordovan. And this is our checkbook cover. And this is a little bit more of a simple design than some people had asked for before. But we will accommodate these custom requests from time to time. But wow, what an amazing day full of incredible pieces of shell cordovan. Great looking wallets. You pretty much had it all today, right? This huge piece of natural shell on a checkbook cover that's custom made. All these incredible shell cordovan colors. Like I like the reverse interior on this ultraviolet. And the favorite from the workshop was this whiskey shell on a black marbled. And we even had some leather that was almost 80 years old. So wow, what a great day. Absolutely epic. If you stuck around for this whole video, thank you guys so much. Really glad you were here to check out all these great wallets today. Please stay tuned for the video that I've got coming up with Grant Stone. I've gained a whole new appreciation for shoemaking. So I would love for you guys to share that experience with me. And thanks again for checking everything out. And I'll see you again next time.